Good morning. Good afternoon, or perhaps I should even say good evening. Whatever time it is, wherever you are in the world right now, hello and welcome. Thank you so much for taking the time to come and join with me to watch this very quick video. My name is Paul Bars from paulbars.com, internet business training to help you get more out of your online business. Today, I'm doing just a very quick video. This is a client request. I've actually had three people in the past week ask me this because I'm going to be showing you today how to simply add a, a PDF document to your WordPress website, to a page or a poster. It doesn't really matter. It's a simple thing that you don't need to pay someone like me to do for you. So first things first, let's begin. We go into our WordPress dashboard. Here I am in the dashboard in the media library section and I've clicked add new because I want to add a new file to the media library very simply I need to find that file and I'm gonna just be using this PDF document here on one of my products which was called unstoppable traffic as I open that up it uploads this PDF document let me see if I can just make that a little larger a little easier for you to see there we go it uploads that document to my media library now I could be putting in stuff on the caption and description stuff. I don't really need to worry about that. I know what it's called up here. And this is the file URL where it's now been added to. This is a default thing which will appear for everybody. Yeah. So once that's done, simply save that change. And we're going to go now, here we to the media library. And we can see that this file has been added. Okay. Now, what we want to do is create a new post or a new page. It doesn't matter which way we go. I'm going to add a new post for the moment and put in some text and then link to that particular post. So, PDF demo page or demo post. They both work exactly the same. It doesn't matter which. I have here some lorem ipsum text you of course will have some good old-fashioned whatever content that will sell this PDF this is this is the stuff the sales copy stuff that you want people to actually be motivated to download I suggest you give a sample of whatever your PDF document is you know some bullet points are always good perhaps some images so I can you know put in an image uh, up the top here and maybe another one down there at some point however I'm going to need to put in Click here to download this PDF, which is pretty poor sales copy. So let's say it was a special report to do with uh, selling blue widgets. You would say something more like this. I'm, I'm actually going to just cover this. This is important stuff because this is relevant for SEO as well. Download your blue widget report here here come on Paul you can type that I'm, I'm a man I, I can't type and speak at the same time one of the problems that I have multifunction doesn't work very well no matter here we go ladies that was a joke for your for at our expense enjoy download your blue P, uh, widget report here so we're selling blue widgets we want to make this the hyperlink text something like that you might hyperlink you might hyperlink the whole lot but what we're gonna do now is come up to Add media. See, I just hold the mouse over that. Add media. That will now give me the opportunity to, and I could have just selected a file directly and uploaded from there instead of first adding it to my media library. But I chose to add it to the media library. So I'm going to click there now. Here's the piece that I want to add. So I click on show. There's all my details. Here we go use this image now it's not an image but it, it, it works the same way okay use this image it's now going to create a link I'm working in the HTML section here if I come over to the visual forget about all the red the fact that it's telling me I've got lots of spelling errors here's now the hyperlinked text now isn't that interesting look what it's done when it did that it automatically put the name in there so I need to go back here in the HTML and 
rewrite this. So something like and then in between these two sections just here there and there we put our hyperlink text which is good for search engines. Blue blue widget special report. Okay so that's good enough. If I come back now to the visual download your blue widget special report and if they click there then they will be able to view that blue widget special report. Now there's a couple of other things that you could do something which I didn't do. You could have it open up in a new window. Now that's one way to do it. Okay? I'm going to show you another way to do it. If I just copy and paste this link here, what I just showed you then is the easiest way. Okay? I'm just going to remove that there. Now I've gotten rid of the links. And instead, now what I'm going to do here is put a link because what I would like is for this link to open up in a new window. Good idea. I think that's important. Add link. Now we have it. Come back to the visual. It's the same. Back to the HTML. This is what it looks like. And it's added in this little bit just here. Target equals. Let me zoom in so you can see this. This is important. Target equals. little commas, 66's, underscore, blank, as your 99's, and that goes in. And that's what makes it open up in a new window. I think we're doing a PDF. That's important. It should always open up in a new window because not everyone knows to right-click and select Save As. So it opens up in a new window. So you could also put in some instructions of some sort telling them how to do that. But that's how it works. Now, here's how we do HTML. This is the easy way. Something like that. I would copy and I would create a new file and I would add that and I would st just start to keep a little database of HTML shortcodes. This one is what you use when you want to open a new window. Okay, so in the future you could just simply come along, copy that come back here, paste it in there. Wouldn't have to go through that extra hype, okay? Now, if this is the first time you've ever seen this, this is going to be going too fast. You're going, whoa! Not good. That's okay. Go back and watch it again. It will start to make sense. So now I have this, and I just want to show you one more thing. I'm going to add, for example, an image. In my theme, it's called a featured image. I will select this here. I've chosen a particular image over there. PDF. It becomes my featured image. And it will appear in just the right place on my particular theme. A little bit different for yours. You need to understand how that works. So once that's done, I'm going to save that as a draft. I'm not going to publish this. This isn't a real post. And because that document I just linked to is actually a paid product, I'm sorry, you can't all have that for free. Anyway, that's now done. I'll click the preview button over there on the right-hand side. Let's have a quick look. There's my featured image. There's our text, and here we have. Download your Blue Widget Special Report. I've clicked that link. It's opened up, up the top here, a new window. And it's now loading that document right now, how to create a constant flow of unstoppable traffic. Okay, this is one of my paid products. It's a video. So I need to take that document down. But that's how you do it. Now this video has been, what, 10 minutes. You're going to need to watch it maybe twice to get the hang of that and just watch the last five minutes a couple of times. But I want to finish off by saying this. Adding PDFs to your pages, to your posts, are a brilliant way to hopefully create some viral traffic and some interest in what you're doing. Because people can share these. Give them permission. When they open it up, it should say, you have permission to share this. Or it should say, you don't have permission to share this, which is probably what I've got in this one. Depending on the rights, if you give these away free, you want to make it so that everyone can have them free. Don't just add them to your website. Add them to other people's websites. Document sharing websites, things like that. 
But that's how you add a PDF document to your WordPress website. All right, my name is Paul Bars from, there it is, paulbars.com, Internet Business Training. Stop by to the website, have a look if you haven't already, and subscribe for some great free tips. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.